Pop Up Flamby's Advent Calendar. O I A A A A A H A H I H I H Hello, mathematicians. Welcome back to another episode on Papa Flemish Advent Calendar. And today I'm going to tell you something about one of the most well kept secrets in integration the so called integration under the integral sign. You might know about Feynman's trick or the Leibniz rule for integration, namely differentiation under the integral sign. But there does exist something similar. It's the very same procedure. It makes use of the same arguments. Um, but it's something that takes a little bit more practice um, to master and to identify in integrals. But once you know a bit about it and have done it several times, it becomes a very powerful weapon. And the integral we are going to demonstrate it on today is the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the b minus x to the a divided by the natural log of x. Try it out for yourself and see if you can get out a solution. By the way, the Advent Calendar, 24 videos, many videos to do, doesn't take any sponsors at the moment, apart from Brilliant very soon. But um, if you still feel like supporting the course in some kind of way, then make use of the code <laughs> to get 15% of everything over my spring shop and also 10% over on stemmage.com on everything. So definitely make sure to check it out and support the channel this way. And now we are going to dive right in. Now, the trick here is to identify what the integrand actually looks like as a primitive if you were to differentiate it in some kind of way. Um, what do I mean by that? I'm going to disassemble this a little bit. This right here is the addition or subtraction of two fractions, namely the one from um, x to the b of power divided by the natural log of x and this minus um, x to the a of power divided by the natural log of x. Now, what you might notice here too is that the b and the a that we got up here it could also be an, an n and m, a cow and a dog, uh, Joe and your mama. Really doesn't matter. What you might notice is that we got the same function here with respect to x but with a different exponent here. So we could rewrite this a tiny little bit. This could be a certain function, namely x divided by the natural log of x, but with a certain exponent up here to the teeth power evaluated from a to b. And all of this integrated with respect to x. Now, if we evaluate something from a to b, and then we get a subtraction here. This looks an awful lot like integration. And this is the motivation, namely by the fundamental theorem of Kegelis. We get that the integral of a function f from a to b is going to result in its primitive evaluated at b minus the primitive evaluated at a. And that's exactly what we got here. You see the similarities. So by this logic, the only thing that we really need to find is which integral evaluated from a to b gives us overall x to the teeth power divided by the natural log of x. This is what you want to find out. And it's actually very easy to see it with this integral, but it can be arbitrarily difficult, obviously, depending on which function you got in here inside of your original integral. Now I want you guys to observe something. We want to take x as being a constant here in some kind of way. Because we want to get ourselves a different integral, for example, with a dt here as our variable, our dummy variable. So what about we take a look at the function a to the x power. Now what happens if we differentiate a to the x power d dx? Well, that is um, not hard to do, but you need to rewrite this a little bit. This is a commonly used trick and I just recently used it in one of my new how real men blah 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 two videos, um, check it out, link down there in the description. It has been the video from yesterday, I suppose. Now we can rewrite this as being um, the differential in x of e to the natural log of a to the x. And by the logarithm properties, we can bring the exponent x to the front of the logarithm, giving us um, that a to the x is the same as e to the x times the natural log of a. And differentiating this is very easy because the exponential function gets preserved in the, in the differentiation process, I'm sorry, meaning we are going to get a to the x out once again. And what we also get is by the chain rule, the differential of x times log of a, giving us just log of a as a constant here. 
Okay, very nice. So what we get is that the differential in x of a to the x is just a to the x being preserved times log of a. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to divide both sides by log of a, giving us overall that um, the differential of a to the x divided by the log of a is going to give us a to the x once again. And now what happens if we integrate both sides with respect to x? Um, a to the x dx. Then we on the one side get just the integral of a to the x. On the left hand side what we get is um, 1 over log of a is just a constant, so this really doesn't bother us. And what happens if we differentiate a to the x with respect to x and integrate it once again? Well, we are gonna basically cancel out the integral sign and the differential here. And we end up, since we don't have upper and lower bounds, with the integral of a to the x dx being the same as um, a to the x divided by the log of a, but plus some arbitrary constant c. And if you now apply upper and lower bounds to this whole thing, so from n to m, then you are going to get exactly this form right here. Just with our constant base, in our case being equal to x, and our x that we have down here in the exponent being equal to t. So let us rewrite it, shall we? And then we are almost done. It's very magical. It's just like um, differentiation under the integral sign. It feels so forbidden, but it's so amazing. <laughs> Manipulating integrals like this. As my professor once said, I think at least that he did, or maybe I trimmed this, I don't know. Um, differentiation is just using handcrafty stuff and integration is a form of art because it's very creative. Um, now we are going to get the integral from zero to one of the integral from a to b of x to the t divided by log of x is the same as the integral from a to b a to the x, where our a in our case is x, and our exponent x is going to be t. Sorry for this weird change of variable, <laughs> but I thought using x as a constant here would look kind of weird, so we are rather going to go this route, dt dx. And now we are going to do the only thing that really needs justification. Um, you can show it by proving the dominated convergence theorem, for example, on here, or there are other things you could do, like using Fubini's theorem without any restrictions whatsoever because it would drag out the video for too long and I just don't have time for that. We are going to turn around the order of integration here, um, giving us the integral from a to b applied to the integral from 0 to 1 of x to the t at first integrate with respect to x and then with respect to t. And integrating a polynomial of degree t is very easy. This is just going to be x to the t plus 1 divided by t plus 1 evaluated from 0 to 1. Well, on zero, it's going to vanish because it's a monic polynomial. No, it's not a monic polynomial. It's, it's a parent function, um, you could say. And also on one, we are going to get one to t plus one. So it's just one over t plus one. So we are going to end up with the integral from a to b of dx, no, dt, divided by t plus one. Now you can introduce a substitution, let x be equal to t plus one. And then you are going to get the natural log of t plus 1 as the antiderivative out. That is trivial. So we get the natural log of t plus 1 evaluated from a to b. And now this is just the natural log of b plus 1 minus the natural log of a plus 1. And putting this together gives us a nicer format at the very end, namely the value of our original integral being hence b plus 1 divided by a plus 1. And that's it. And I think this is extremely magical and I hope you did enjoy what you have seen today. And I hope that the weekend videos are going to be very exciting. I'm striving to create um, a very nice way of multiplying numbers a video on that and also a meme review or something of that sort. Or maybe a physics ex experiment. We'll see about that. I'm not certain yet. But um, I hope you did enjoy today's video nonetheless. And I hope you are excited for the weekend. Don't forget to check out my cooking channel, NP Cooking. New video out over there too. And up until next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. Thank you for watching the Advent Calendar. See ya.